Okay, I'm making this video to show you how you can hack your Mac. Okay, so basically this is an international version uh, MacBook Air. International version, you can see these keys are not normal. This is the stuff that the foreign people use. And um, here's the problem. When I got it, it didn't have a uh, password that could be remembered. So, what I'm going to have to do is hack my Mac. So basically, this is what you do. First, you're going to want to turn the computer on using the uh, power button right here. As soon as you turn it on, you're going to want to hold the command button and the S button. So let's try that. Turn the computer on, lights powered on, hold command and S. Hold command and S. Two buttons. When you hold these two buttons, the computer will go into command prompt mode. And this is especially important if you're using a computer that does not have a CD-ROM. Because if it doesn't have a CD-ROM like the MacBook Air, then you'd normally be basically locked out forever. So, now, it's asking for a command. This is similar to a Windows system where it asks for a command. Now, this is what you're going to want to type. You're going to type mount, M-O-U-N-T, space. You're going to want to type minus... U W mount minus U W space forward slash. Then you push enter. If you did it right, it won't ask you for something else. It'll say root number again. It'll ask you for the next command. You're going to want to push R M R M space forward slash V A R forward slash D B forward slash dot period well that's a dot as a period Apple P P L E setup S E T U P done D O N E simple right and you push enter and see if you made sure you spell everything right. Since you spell everything right, it'll say root again. Now you type the final command. Shut down. Space. Minus. Oops. Made a mistake. Minus. Whoops. International keyboard doesn't seem to have a minus button. And it's easy to see. H. Shut down space. Minus H. Now. But you got to make another space. Now. That's your command. Then you push enter. The computer will reboot. Now you can watch. The computer reboots. Oh, well, I'm, I made a shutdown, so the computer's rebooting right now. MacBook Air. Yeah. Okay. And when it reboots, it's going to allow you to set up a new administrator password. Now, the funny thing about an administrator password is if you're an administrator, you have the ability to change other people's passwords on the computer. So that means that any um, user that was on this computer before you, no matter how obscure that password was, you'll be able to have access to changing their password. So I'm going to show you real quick how that one works. At this point, you basically just log in. It's almost as if uh, you just got this computer right out of the box. It boots up to the welcome screen, and, uh, and then you're ready to create your own administrator password. And from that point on, you have full control over this Mac. And whoever's files were on it before you got a hold to it. So, be wary leaving your Mac around people who are computer geniuses, because you could get your Mac hacked. We're back to the welcome screen. Let's get past this. Let's get past this. Come on. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you. Hello. Welcome. Yes. All right. Okay, come on. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Okay, so now it's going to ask me my basic information, blah, 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 United States, yes, welcome, 
I a U.S. citizen, blah, blah, blah. Do not transfer information, blah, blah, blah. Are you on a Mac? Yeah, don't transfer. So it's as if you got it out of the box. Now it's asking you the password for your Wi-Fi. I'll do that later. Uh, I'll just push continue. I, I want to get past this. Okay, now I'm setting the time zone. Now I'm moving on. Go. All right, so now it starts up. It's ready to be used. So the first thing you'll want to do is since you are using this because you forgot your password, what you're going to want to do is go directly into the settings, which just popped up. You go into your settings, hit system preferences, and then you go and you find the username that you want to change the password to. Now keep in mind, I didn't use a CD. I didn't use any external devices at all. All I used was a couple of command prompts, and I'm already all the way into this Mac. So that means that even if you have a Macintosh computer, it's not secure. Simply because with just a couple of button taps, I was able to get right into this computer. So, system preferences at the top. It should be popping up. Okay, what well we got? User accounts. Got these user accounts here. Okay, and these are the people who are on it. Now, I just logged in with this one, admin. But if I want to change other accounts, all I do is click the little lock, and I type in my uh, my uh, current password. Just enter, and now I have full access to everybody else. So this is the person who I wanted to um, change their password. So now I have full access. It says reset password. And look at this. It doesn't even ask you what the old password was. So guess what? All I got to do is change her password to whatever I want it to be. So let's say I want the new password to be um, 123. 123. Verify. 123. Password hint. Hmm. Well, let's see. First three numbers. Bingo. Reset password. It's done. Is that simple. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you hack a Mac.